Hey, remember me? Okay, class is in session. Um, I'm back in the States, uh, lovely suburb of Wisconsin, and uh, showing my support for Venezia football. Okay. Um, okay, module three. Again, I'm sorry for the delayed video. Uh, I'm still groggy from jet lag. I'm such a wimp, but I was in Europe for two months, and this is a little adapting to get back to it. Um, uh, so module three, like I said, I'm going to give you guys two extra days for the module three stuff that's due because of this video going out now. Um, it's not going to really affect, impact module four, so just keep that in mind. We've got some things to do there, but uh, so it'll kind of overlap, all right? Um, in the meantime, okay, discussion board, let's see, I finished uh, the, uh, which one was it? The discussion boards, I finished scoring those. Sorry about the lighting, huh? Um, and uh, overall, it was good, okay. The worksheets, I mean, I'm, I'm working on the, yeah, worksheet to the plan of study. Working on those right now, I'll be finished with those probably in an hour after I get done with this video. Um, those are looking pretty good. Again, you're talking about yourself, so it shouldn't be that big of a challenge, okay. Um, one thing I want to emphasize, all right, on, on those kind of worksheets and things, I don't want a cover sheet. I don't want a running head. I don't, I don't need references, okay? You're writing about yourself, all right? Don't overdo it. Don't do all that and then forget to put your name on the paper and your name in the file name. You just got yourself dinged, okay? So just give me that, you know, here's a tip. All right, if there's a rubric and you see in points for a particular category that says career goals or something, make sure the word career goals are in that paper, okay? <laughs> That's a very easy way for me to check it off, right? Uh, same way with uh, DARS. Make sure D-A-R-S is in that paper, right? It's an easy way to do it. Okay. Um, also, uh, let's see. What am I going to talk about? I still want to go over the uh, discussion board. I want to go over that interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary, you know, the, the levels of disciplinary thinking. Um, now, if you don't have your, your book, if you, don't, if you didn't read the paper uh, in the module, if you're just winging it, then I got no sympathy for you, okay? Um, you deserve what you get. If you're really struggling with that, the concepts there, I get it, okay? And so I'm, that's why we put it a different way in the triangle and that, you know, the pyramid, I mean. Uh, you know, on the bottom, the foundational thinking is disciplinary, okay, or intradisciplinary. You can, you can just get rid of the intra and call it disciplinary because it's, in, it's one discipline. Intra is one. It's just one discipline. So looking at... Um, Mathematics from a mathematician's perspective, from the perspective of mathematics as a discipline. Okay, up from there, in complexity, I guess you could call it, would be um, uh, cross-disciplinary. Uh, cross-disciplinary is a ch the challenging one, but the simplest way to think about it is looking at uh, music through a mathematician's uh, mathematics discipline. Okay, because we all know that they, that, that, that has components of math in it, all right? And a lot of you brought up some really good examples in cross-disciplinary, which told me that you got it, okay? You did. You know, like, you're talking about uh, sociologists, um, you know, looking at the gun laws, you know, looking at uh, law enforcement or politics. So that, that's exactly what that is. Then the next level up is multidisciplinary. That's just more than one discipline, okay? And uh, each, each person on a committee or each person, however, is, is in charge of their own discipline and then basically there might there's going to be some kind of coordinator that's going to take them all into consideration but it's not interdisciplinary which is where they're all meeting and i mean they're talking with each other trying to find common languages common terms okay so because you know if you go to your english you know courses and then try to take that language over to geology, it's going to be a big fail, okay, because they speak different languages. But there are commonalities in there, and sometimes those obstacles just need to be ironed out, and then um, interdisciplinary process takes place, okay. Uh, and then beyond that, again, is the transdisciplinary, which is beyond the discipline. So you can just think of that as outside the world of academic and just um, including disciplines but going beyond it. And there's different ways to look at it transcending. Um, Again, the biggest, one of the biggest issues that most people had was you didn't name disciplines. I put it in the instructions. I put it in the video. The disciplines, interdisciplinary, cross-disciplinary, multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary. Disciplines. It isn't inter-occupational, cross-occupational, inter-cross-occupational. 
occupational. Okay, the occupations are important. We're talking about committee and talking about it in real life, but you got to go from, you can't go from point A to C. B is in there. B is the disciplines. You got to, you got to tell me the disciplines that you're talking about. You don't tell me a law enforcement. What, what is that? That's occupational. That's not, you know, criminology and law studies or something that effect. Okay, uh, so you got to get the, um, the discipline in there. All right. Uh, questions, comments, concerns about that, please let me know, but you should be able to get that. Uh, understand what those different levels are, okay? Um, all right, so there was a lot of writing in that one, which is great. You know, your college, you can do that, right? Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so yeah, on, on your discussion boards, even though if it seems like a lot, number one, it's not a paper, it's not a free flowing composition, okay? If there's questions, prompts on there, copy and paste them right over to that discussion board and bam 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 knock them out I know what you're I know what you're talking about then I don't have to go in there and say oh is this paragraph referring to this and where's the transition from that no that's not the kind of paper that this is okay it's a discussion board slap it up there don't put it on a word doc okay I remember I said I wasn't gonna punish anybody for that but it irritates me when I got to open up a word doc and you know people aren't gonna really look at yours and comment if they have to open a word doc okay because if you open that Word doc, you open up that can of worms where I want to see file, your name on the file name. I want to see proper formatting. I want to see, you just formalized it yourself, okay? So be careful with that. Discussion board is like an informal discussion board, okay? Um, more of the papers, those are papers, okay? Questions about that, let me know. If you shoot me an email, I'll get you an answer like that without having you spin your wheels. So speaking of that, if you have issues where you're just confused about something, you just don't know it, you're just, not, you're just gonna say, I don't know this or whatever, you really want to you really want to go it that way why don't you just let me know and so i can help you out with that it's better okay it's up to you all right so um so let's see module three we're talking about plagiarism and your intellectual autobiography okay so there is a readings there let's see one is the case well the case five arguments against interdisciplinary studies thomas benson this is a good one he's devil's advocate here and i think he's devil's advocate right he might just be ripping us Right from the heart. Um, again, these are these are can be old. Uh, this is from this is from in issues in integrated studies from 1982. Okay, who was born back then? Me. Okay, okay. And uh, let's see, who was out of high school by then? Okay. Um, so read that though, because it's good to, to hear it. Because you know, I mean, I've got a, a cousin and a cousin-in-law who are big administrators in the school district in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and and they're politicians now. And I remember they were asking me what I was studying and things and. Interdisciplinary studies. Oh, that's that. That's that field where you just throw shit against the wall and see what sticks, right? That's exactly what he said. These are big shots, and I'm like, well, whatever, you know. But so this is how it helps you to, to push back against that, all right? And then you go and read Newell's The Case for Interdisciplinary Studies. Newell is one of the, you know, the big three with Klein and Repco that we like to to talk about, and there's some good responses there to those five arguments. All right, read that, okay? And then you get into the plagiarism readings by Leonard Pitts Jr., a great writer out of uh, Tribune, uh, I think he's still at Miami Herald, great columnist, uh, syndicated. Uh, he had a little beef against a guy who was really got busted for plagiarizing. Read that little letter, it's, it's pretty interesting, it was a column. Then you've got, um, are you academic nuts or what? I know how to cite sources by Dave Wells, one of those nutty professors, Dave Wells is um, one of my colleagues in our department, and I don't even want to call him a colleague because he is like up there as far as I'm concerned. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's one of the people I, I truly, truly respect and admire in our department. And uh, he, he, I think he's put the whole department on his back more than once. I think he's our department, he's our senator too for representing our faculty at ASU. So um, check that out. He wrote an article here about citations and things, okay, that you need to know. We're in college you now, and sometimes you got to write formally, you know. Okay, and there's another couple links then. You can look at those, uh, parse through those as you will, but you're gonna get to the, um, uh, the debate. It's an interdisciplinary studies debate. I changed the due dates on that already. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Do the best you can there. Extra points for originality, because you know how many of these I've read over my time, and it's just the same old, same old. But if you think outside the box, um, good stuff. Read those articles. From AZ Central, they're still up. Um, I'm double checking now. I check for the before it began. It's a great article, letter to the editor, ripping ASU for interdisciplinary studies back when it was a three-year program, which I don't know how long that was. Um, and so there's that, and then there's 
a uh, response by a dean back then, and then there's, there was an apology. Um, so check that out, because these are the things you might run up against in, in, you know, in your professional life. You try to get a job, and they see this interdisciplinary studies. How are you going to spin that to make it a positive, not only a positive, to advance ahead of the, you know, your, your com competitors, okay? So look at that. Now you got um, uh, the plagiarism quiz. Let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. I jumped ahead there. No, that was the discussion board. I went back. So now back to the plagiarism quiz, reading all those things. And then there's a, um, a game quiz. That's not, that's not the actual quiz, right? It's just it's a game. I played it on my face-to-face -face class, and wow, that goes over well if you're like seven years old. No, just try it. It's an interesting way to get that in your, in your thick skull so you understand what to plagiarize. It's pretty simple, though. Okay, so then you get to the plagiarism quiz. Take that. And it is, how many questions? Let's take a look. Uh, it is 10 questions. I'm gonna say six points each. Um, six points each. Multiple choice, true or false, multiple choice, multiple choice, true or false. You guys got this, right? Okay, so there you go on that. That's a plagiarism quiz. And then you've got your, um, Intellectual autobiography. This is fun stuff. Okay, I actually got my book now. I shipped it here before I left Phoenix. Um, you want to go to page 338, 339, and there's the rubric I'm going to be using, Repco's rubric. Um, I'm doubling the points, though. The points are actually worth twice as much. So when you see those little, what's in there, if you put it in the paper, it helps me so much. Now, this is a paper that you can write. It's an autobiography. You're writing about yourself. You can let it flow, okay? Use paragraphs. Times New Roman, 12-point font, double line spacing, okay? Give me your name and the file name. So you would put, like, you know, you'd save it, you know, save it as, you know, uh, intellectual autobiography or uh, int aught, uh, you know, underscore Schwartz, uh, dot doc, whatever, and send it up so I know it's there. Put your name on the paper also, okay? And we're good to go. I don't need Fancy covers, don't need an abstract, okay? No abstracts in the entire class, okay? Not one. All right, um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. But it's, time, it's um, <clears throat> like I said, Times New Roman, and uh, <clears throat> you can use Purdue OWL for the uh, formatting then if you'd like to do that, okay? So um, it's, it's an intellectual autobiography. It's not like, you know, and then my little league team won, you know, six to one, and we went for pizza. Intellectually, it's how you, you know, the, these things that inform you. Certainly there's going to be different situations that you could illustrate examples of how something happened that was important to your intellectual growth and development as a younger person. Um, I think we all have that. I went to Catholic grade school in the 60s, and oh man, it took me decades of therapy. To, no, I'm just kidding. It was fine. But um, so there's all these types of uh, influences we have, uh, situations that come up that create um, our intellectual <clears throat> um, how we develop and how we evolve, okay? Check that out. Give me a call, or I mean, give me a tech uh, email. What am I at here? Almost 14 minutes. Okay, not too bad, huh? All right. Uh, oh, my gosh, what did I forget? Easter eggs. Oh, <laughs> you made it this far, and you're like, jeez, man, can you just give me an Easter egg, dude? Give me a cookie. Give me a cookie. Okay, first one, then, is Italian cookies. My mother... Italian. Italian cookies, that's your first Easter egg, okay? And uh, let me tell you, I had a lunch yesterday here that was my best meal the entire trip. <laughs> I wasn't even in Europe, all right? So nothing like mom's cooking. All right, so Italian cookies is the first one. All right, so you want to get through all this and um, ask me any questions you have. Uh, I'm going to like I said, extend the deadlines on uh, module two stuff, but you, 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 you got it, okay? Um, if there's any questions, really, if you got any questions, don't, you know, get angry in silence. Let me know, okay? I appreciate it. I'm in town now, so we can set up calls. You know, like I said, I'm in central time. Uh, all right. I think that'll do it on this one. I want to get this up in the air. I had really a lot of trouble. Like I said, my hard drive is still crashed. Apple tried to call me. They couldn't get through. Uh, AT&T service out here sucks. Um, and I couldn't find my battery and microphone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all technical issues behind the scenes. So, um, okay, give me an email if you have any questions. 
Let's do one more. I know I said, and I just told people I always do three cookies Easter eggs, and I totally forgot this time. So that was one. So this is the unusual one with only two, okay? So my second one is going to be, um, let's see. This is like the funnest part of my life right now. Oh, that's sad. Okay. <laughs> the second one, we said Italian cookies. Are, uh, okay. The second one will be, let's go with that. Uh, Venezia. Venezia. Okay. Some form of that. Spelling, I'm not checking. Okay. So that'll be your second one. Uh, get uh, get those to me and get your five points. And I hope you're reading the materials and hope you're doing all right. Let me know if you're not. Have I said that before? Like six times in the last two minutes. Okay. Have a good one. Talk to you. Forks up.